Okay, traders, in this video, we're going to look at a delta neutral option strategy, which is a short straddle with associated delta hedging. So it should be an interesting video for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Delta neutral option strategies are essentially volatility trades. In a short volatility example, traders want to maximize their time decay while simultaneously delta hedging to keep their directional exposure in check. By doing this, theta and vega become the big drivers in the position rather than delta. One of my favorite delta neutral strategies is the short straddle. These typically start delta neutral or close to it, but as the underlying stock moves, the position starts to pick up either positive or negative delta. If the stock rallies, the short straddle will show negative delta. In other words, the trader wants the stock to fall back into the straddle zone. Conversely, if the stock falls, the short straddle will show positive delta because the trader wants the stock to rise back up. Buying and selling stock to hedge the delta allows us to focus on the two most important Greeks in the trade, Vega and Theta. There are two choices on how to delta hedge. Firstly, when a certain delta level has been reached, or secondly, after a certain period of time has passed. Typically, I tend to prefer to hedge my delta neutral trades via method one. However, in this example, I chose to delta hedge once per week, and I'll walk you through the exact trades shortly. I've mentioned in the past that I like to search for really beaten down stocks in order to either A, find some value for a long-term play, or B, take advantage of the high implied volatility. One such trade that jumped out in 2008 was on PM, Philip Morris. In late April, the company had a disastrous earnings announcement and dropped around 15% on the day. These sorts of drops provide massive opportunities for option traders. Tobacco is a dying industry and not one that I want to invest in. So I decided to try a pure volatility play by entering a short straddle with weekly delta hedging. Below, you can see the spike in implied volatility to the highest level in 12 months. That's a great time to get short vol. I decided to do a short straddle, but also to hedge out the delta as the stock moved. I would neutralize the delta every week on Wednesday rather than at a predefined level of delta. And here are the details. So the trade date was April 25th. The stock was trading at 81.81. And we centered the straddle at 82.50, slightly above the stock price, sold two of the uh, June 82.50 puts and also two of the June 82.50 calls. The net credit we received for making that trade was 1,102. Now, one thing to remember here is these are naked options, so it can be risky and not for everybody. Um, make sure you understand the risks associated with, na with naked options uh, before you try anything like this. With the straddle placed just above the stock price, this left me with a slight positive delta. So I needed to sell a few shares to start perfectly delta neutral. So here we sold six shares of Philip Morris at 81.81. .81. Uh, which brought in $490 uh, of cash, uh, but obviously we were short the shares and the total margin requirement for the trade was 4,700. That's our capital at risk. Again, we can lose more than that potentially because uh, we've got naked options. Here's what the payoff diagram looked like. At trade initiation, you can't tell much difference between this delta hedged trade and a regular short straddle. Looks pretty similar, right? If we move forward a week to May 3rd, the trade has performed well and is up around $175. Implied volatility has dropped from 22% to 19%. So that has really benefited this trade. It's a short vol trade after all. Also, we were short six shares of PM and the shares have dropped from 81.81 to 80.10. So that's helped us as well. At this point, we have positive delta because we want the stock to rally back up to the middle of the straddle. So we need to sell some more shares to hedge our delta. With the current position delta of plus 55, we sell another 55 shares at 80.10, which gives us a net share position of negative 61. Remember, we were already short six shares. We're selling another 55, so now we're short 61 shares. Here's our position before we delta hedge. And watch what happens on the downside of the graph um, in a couple of slides time when we look at after hedging. One important thing to notice is that we have extended our profit zone on the downside and have also reduced the rate at which the trade will lose money if PM continued to drop. Our previous break even was 76.79 and our new break even is 75.37. So 
not a huge difference, but it still helps. More importantly, let's say PM dropped hard to 72.65, the unhedged trade would lose over $800, whereas the hedged trade would only lose 400. So hopefully you can see the difference here um, between the, the adjusted and the unadjusted trade. By selling those extra shares, we've given ourselves a bit more room and a bit less risk on the downside. By May 10th, PM had rallied back to 81.99 and the trade was plus $195. In this case, we would have actually been $100 better off if we had not delta hedged, but that wasn't the goal of the trade. So here we are, we hedge again by rallying back towards the center of the straddle. The trade now had negative delta because of our short 61 shares and a total position delta of negative 53. So what we do is we buy 53 shares to get us our total position back to completely delta neutral. So we're buying them at 81.99 and our new share position is negative eight. After delta hedging, you can see here by adjusting the underlying shares, we get into more of a straddle, uh, typical straddle shape again, because we're not short as many shares anymore. Um, and we've got the trade just sitting there. Now we go forward another week to May 17th and PM has dropped again to 80.89 and the trade is up $290. Implied volatility has dropped further to 18% and time decay is really starting to kick in as the options get closer to expiry. We've made about $400 from the short straddle, but because the stock has bounced down, up and back down again, we've actually lost about $100 from our delta hedging, from our buying and selling shares. We were actually buying high and selling low. So we lost a little bit of money from the, the hedge, but that's okay. We certainly would have been better off without the delta hedge, but as I said earlier, that wasn't the goal for the trade. We were looking to minimize risk and minimize our directional risk. My concern was that the stock was so weak at the time, um, it could suffer a continued decline. If that had happened, we would have done much better by delta hedging. At this point, the position had a delta of plus 45. So to delta hedge, we'd sell 45 shares at 80.89. However, I decided to take a bit of a gamble and leave the position with positive delta. As you can see on the next chart, the stock had been completely beaten down and was starting to show some positive divergence. That turned out to be the wrong decision with the stock dropping further to 79.87, but say la vie. As of the close of business on May 22nd, the trade was up $311 and had delta of plus 94. There are many delta neutral option strategies and the idea presented here is just one example. In this case, I placed a short straddle trade, and in order to reduce the price risk, I decided to delta hedge each week. While the trade did work out, it would have been more profitable without the delta hedge. Hope you enjoyed this short tutorial today, and if you wanna learn a bit more about how I trade and analyze the market, make sure to check out my website, optionstradingiq.com. Scroll down to the bottom there on the homepage, there's a couple of free courses for you. I've got an iron condor course uh, and a butterfly course. Um, lots of good value there. Um, and all free of course so thanks for watching wish you good luck and good trading if you have any questions please leave a comment below and if you've enjoyed this video please hit the like button um, that way i'll know that the video resonated with you and i can produce more of these videos going forward okay have a great day talk to you soon